What is up, Legit Nation? What's going on? Yo, guys, what's poppin'? We're here back in San Antonio with the homie, the one, the only. Legit records. He sounds like he's a recording artist. Anyways, today we have a shopping video. We're gonna be going to the Nike outlets at what outlet? We're not going to San Marcos. We went to San Marcos we're last time. We're going to Round Rock. Round Rock and Ross. So we're gonna be comparing the two sneaker stores that give the best deals in San Antonio besides the thrift. If you guys like this video, make sure you guys check out my outlet vlog playlist linked down below. And tomorrow we're actually gonna be doing a sneaker shopping battle at the Mall River Center Mall in San Antonio, going to a bunch of different sneaker stores. And if you guys like the sneaker battles before you guys know the drill it's gonna be a fun fun video so with that said let's get going over to the Ross and then we'll be going over to the Nike outlet to see which stores has the better steals all right so we are getting to the Ross dress for less now Tim right, so tell me about this Ross. Ross back in the day bro when I didn't have no sweatpants I would come to this Ross cop them get a little bit of heat you know what I'm saying for cheap all right so we just got to the sneaker section right now and Tim what do you like so much about Ross why do you come here so much y'all when I first started shopping at Ross I didn't like it at all like I thought Ross was pretty lame just because they didn't have the brands they didn't have now mm -hmm. when when i started shopping across with my mom I, there would just be like no brands they didn't have nikes they didn't have adidas it was just you know what i mean just basic like brands that nobody heard of mm -hmm. but whenever they started rolling in nike and all kinds of crazy stuff super bro i started getting I, it started becoming like hype because i was like yo like why am i gonna go to the mall and spend thirty dollars on a shirt when I can come to Ross and spend five dollars on it. So let's start looking at some shoes. We got the size nine section. What do we got here, Tim? We got some Moon Nike Moon boots right here, bro. <laughs> I have no idea what they are. We got some Stephen Curry's though in the white colorway on the back. Blam! I can do all things. I believe these are the Curry three, four, threes. I think they're the mm -hmm. threes, bro. To be honest with you, I'm not too sure, but fifty four ninety nine. Okay, price starting off in here. We got some Adidas, bro. And what model is this? Ooh, that's the Tubular Doom. The Tubular Doom. This one's $49.99, comparable value to $120. Pretty nice shoe, honestly. Pretty nice find starting it off. Getting a little wet in here, a little juicy wet. You know what I mean? Some pink Puma slides right here with the, the gold. Fenty? Pretty fire. The, fe the, the Puma Fenty slide. We got some Puma Sugi Nefit looking shoes in this all green colorway. How much are these going for? We're looking at, where's the tag? I can't find the tag. Oh well, Bro, let's put these back. What's up? Your favorite sneakers. Oh my gosh. Crocs. Those are like, wait, those aren't Crocs, are they? They are Crocs. They're Crocs, but without the holes. Yeah, without the holes. What the well, heck? We'll talk though, we got some Adidas equipment in here. Ooh, QTs in here. Only fire. $49.99, dude. Like I said, you could go to Pax and then pay full retail or come to Ross. Drop a little bit of money. We got a pair of the Adidas Alpha Bounces right here, all black, $49.99. Not a bad price for these. So Tim's going to the restroom real quick, but I just found a pair of sneakers I bought on sale in Toronto from Livestock, and they're here at Ross. This might be one of the best Ross finds, like no clickbait, no no BS or anything. Like this is probably one of the best Ross finds because I've actually bought these sneakers on sale outside of Ross. So let me show you guys what they are. They got some Puma Thunder Spectra in the burgundy colorway. Oh my gosh, and this is an insane steal. $30 for the Puma Thunder Spectra. Damn, that's an insane, insane price. The only downside is that these are a size seven. Size seven for these joints right here. And they know these are heat. Ross knows these are heat. That's why they have the little the little lock there, the security tag, so no one can try and teeth these. All right, now we're into the size nine, eight, and 10 section over here. So we're trying to find some heat. You guys know Levi's did the collab with Jordan brand, but if you guys, you know, are trying to save some money, not trying to get the Jordan collabs, they have regular Levi sneakers. These are like a Vans authentic kind of style of shoe. And these are going for $29.99 size 10. Not too bad of a looking shoe, but a Levi sneaker without the jump man. I don't know if I trust it, you know? I see some Atmos Safari print down here. What do we have? Ooh, what's the name of these? The Telaria? I'm pretty sure I've seen these at the Nike outlet in the past, but we got some Telarias, size 11.5. These are going for, I don't know the price. I can't find it. Dude, Tim, what's up, bro? I don't know why, but everywhere I go, I see heat, bro. I found these in the bathroom right here. <laughs> the Adidas right here, bam. For only $45. Pro Fears for $45? Pretty dope, pretty dope sneakers, white and peachy. Def Curry is almost in that like old school Yeezy colorway with that pop of green. The purple wasn't Yeezy colorway, but the little pink on the inside, pretty fire. More Adidas EQTs. EQTs flooding up this place, you already know. How much are those? So these are only four, uh, 50 bucks for size six and a half and size seven. That mother hot. Puma Clyde's right here for $26.99. I bought these on sale from the Full Locker outlet in Canada. These are really clean, white and red colorway. And Tim's Tim back at it again with Yet some again, stuff. Some more Steph Curry's in the Golden State Warriors colorway. We got the blue, we got the yellow, we got the I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And do you see these Jordans though? Ooh, these AJs. 
Check it out. Cement on the back. Got a little splash on the front. And these are going for $44.99. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, some Air Hirachis right here for $39.99. Blam, colorful on the bottom. Hit you with that sunset butterfly for $130. From Champs, but here they're only 40 bucks. Adidas shell toes right here. Yeah. In the maroon colorway, date night when you're trying to get Ron Burgundy on her. $39.99, keeping you fresh. Strictly drop, drop all the way from the bottom to the top. Puma, I mean, it's cool, bro. You know, Rudy Gay on the Spurs wears it, but honestly, I'm not a huge fan of Puma. I like their collabs, but I'm um, not a huge fan. You're more of a Puma guy than I am for sure. Yeah, without a doubt. For me, I'm more about the Toms. You're all about the Toms? I'm all about the Toms. You like the Toms Stay in Winnipeg? The Toms is. Toms. What about these ones here? Let's get your garbage. Yeezys. Garbage. Garbage to the max. Nobody cares about these, bro. Nobody cares about any of this. They just want to see the fire. They just want to see flame. I got y'all, man. Y'all just want to see the heat. Some hyper venoms right here. Those are loud. Flam. I know y'all want to see this. That's why. Only $12. I said it. $12. Oh. The Jordan Spizyka White, Spizyka White. Yo, the Jordan Spizykes for $69.99. I remember, bro, back in the day, these mm -hmm. used to be fire. And that not only are they $69.99 here, but at Champ Sports, they go for $175. So don't be mistaken, man. These are your new school shoes. We got some Air Force Ones in the high top pink right here for some of y'all sisters. These ones are only, they're on sale right now. They're reduced to $42. They were okay. $49. Now this, this is what I call a steal. $40 for these Adidas tubulars right here. Blue and black colorway, really simple. I mess with these, 40 bucks, size eight. Not sure the name of these Nikes, but for $40 at Ross, that's not too bad actually. I like this color scheme, the teal, gray, and black sort of gives me like an Atmos kind of vibe, minus the elephant print. They have a couple of these sitting at Ross in a couple of different sizes, the Nastase, Nastase? Adidas sneakers for $40 down from 70 now Ross doesn't have too much heat when it comes to the football cleats But today they have these right here for $20. I don't know what the name of these are But there's some Adidas football cleats and they are freaking amazing They're like chromed out with this bronze chrome on the bottom and these are just wild man $20 for these as a steal you cannot pass up on so we're gonna take a quick break from the sneakers Ooh. right now And take an intermission for some socks because you guys know Ross got the heat when it comes to the socks Tim's going off looking at these socks right now. Whoa. So let's look at some socks the Anthony Davis socks right here for $2.99. Damn, with the uni brown and everything. Right here, Jeez. Dude, family guy? Yo. Oh my god. Check it out. We got some maple leaves right here, obviously. We got some donuts. We got Patrick Starr. We got some Dollar Dollar Bills, y'all. Some my Benjamins. We got some Stewie Griffin going on. We got the Chinese takeout menu as well. Ooh, we got SpongeBob SquarePants. Shout out to SpongeBob. RIP. Ooh, we got some Rick and Morty down below too. We got some Pirates, some Lollipops. What I'm trying to say, guys, is Ross, they got heat when it comes to socks. So stop by for the socks if you want some heat. Anyways, enough socks. Let's get back to the sneakers. <laughs> What does Tim have over here at the larger size oh, section? Oh, 13. my bad, yo, what's good? What's, what's up, good? bro? Sneaker what's up? So first of all, we got the Why Not Russell Westbrooks right here. $49.99, pretty much all black, but we got the colors on the inside. Bro, the Nike Grandpa 87s. Yo. Dude. I remember back in the day. Anyways, we got some more curries right here. We got some more curries for the chicken. Jordan's right here in the red colorway. This one's $45, all red, wrapping around. Ross hasn't had the LeBrons in a minute and all that. I know, there used to be more yeah. fun Ross. Lately, there hasn't been any fire in Ross. That's why I haven't really been filming any videos. But we got some Under Armors right here for $39.99. I said curries in the purple colorway. Last but not least though, mm. I know today's been a big curry day. I'm gonna end you off with some fire. We got some Steph Curries what right here. The? However, these are kind of like premium curries. Mm -hmm. As you can see, there's leather all across, brown leather, leather on the inside. These are gonna be $54.99. Steph Curry, I can do all things. Curry wears these to his business meetings. He's wearing these to his dinners in New York. He wears these when he's time to celebrate. He wears this to church. So Steph Curry, premiums right here on your boy. Anyways, guys, thank y'all so much for watching, but we're still gonna head to the Nike outlet. So let's keep up the fire, let's keep up the flame, and I'll see y'all guys over there. Peace. Now it's time for the Round Rock Nike outlets. It was my first time here, and they had some pretty decent stuff. Starting off with these all of Nike Air Max ones for 60 bucks. We also had some blue SFAF1 highs. We had some purple SFAF1 highs. Both of these ones were $75 US. Sorry, I don't have the conversions for you guys this time. We also got these for 75 bucks US. That's about 100 Canadian dollars. And they had these black SFAF1 
mid tops for $75 as well. They also have this white and red one which I've seen at Ross's in the past for about $69.99, about the same price. And then last but not least, we had this really cool like camouflage, not camouflage, the yellow and black SFAF1 highs. I like these a lot too. They also have these pennies for $90 in one of the OG colorways, I believe. And then next up, we actually have some Nike fly knits that were on sale for way, way below retail. Retail price was like $155 US, but check this out, $39.97 for these fly knit trainers. That's the cheapest I've seen fly knit trainers in a actually solid colorway. This khaki colorway was dope. They also had the Moon Racers down from $145, now going for $110 US dollars. I've seen these cheaper in Canada, so it was an easy pass, but then they also had these Westbrooks, and these Westbrooks were only $100. Like, look at this, clean black and white colorway. Can't go wrong with that. And they also have this black and white colorway for the Jordan Future Lows for $65. Next up, we got the Jordan Fadeaways for $70 US in this all red colorway. Very loud, very vibrant. Next up, we got some Kyrie Low Florals. I've seen these all over the place. Then we got some Hashwa sneakers. We got the S, or we got the Air Force ones, pink Air Force ones. Then we got some green Air Force ones. Both of these ones here were going for $70 with an extra 20% off. We got some Air Max ones, white with gr or gray with black not seen this colorway before so it's pretty cool it was a woman's colorway so a size 10 men's 11.5 women's we got some more fly knit trainers these were not as cheap as the colorway i showed you guys earlier these were a hundred dollars with an extra 20 percent off and then we also have a black colorway just a solid core black fly knit trainers these were going for a hundred bucks as well these these caught my eye. These were some high top Air Maestro 2 LTDs, and these were some retro old sneakers. Next up, we got some combat boots, some Nike SFB Field 8 inches, and these are like that Yeezy kind of vibe. We also got the Jordan Spitzex for 120, but they have these here at the Nike Outlet for 140. These were at the Ross for 70 bucks. These right here are fire, man. I like these. These are the low top infrared uh, Jordan Futures, and these were going for $75. $75, and I've seen these outfit actions for like 170, 180, which is insane. We got some Air Max 95s with this all over print as well. We got some Hirachi Drifts in this white, black, and red accent colorway. Then we have these sort of Black Cement 3 kind of running shoes. A really cool shoe. Jordan 88 Racer, $80 down from 110. We also got the deconstruction twos which are a big outlet sitter they're at every single outlet i've been to we got some neon yellow mariah flynet trainers for 60 dollars pretty solid price point then we have these sort of strong witherspoon kind of vibe air max 95s not too crazy about these these were going for 120 us then we have these Easter Air Force One Lows. This patchwork kind of vibe is pretty cool. I know Supreme released a sweater that's quite similar to these, but these next shoes caught me off guard. I know I've seen Air Force Ones like this, but they actually have some Blazer Lows with a double swoosh, so that's different. That's something different for sure. We also have like a Katrina Fire Red colorway of those 88 Jordan uh, Zoom running shoes I showed you guys earlier. And they have these Converse sneakers that I've shown you guys on the channel in the past, um, which is really surprising to find these Converse uh, just on collabs at the Nike Ellis. Then we have the Air Max 270s for 150 US, probably one of the best shoes here. And then the Vogue's, the Vogue Air Jordan 3. I was surprised to find all of these pairs here. They had a full size run times like three for the black colorway. Now this is a woman's exclusive shoe collaboration between Vogue and Jordan brand. Retail price was like 220, they were going for 150 US. And last but not least in the woman's sizes, they also had the Jordan 11s or about 115 bucks. Really good savings right there. So there you guys go. That's gonna wrap up today's vlog. If you guys enjoyed it, please smash that thumbs up button down below. Check out Shout Tim's out channel. Me. I'll leave it linked down below as well. And comment if you made it to the end, which store you guys prefer. Do you prefer the Nike outlets or do you guys prefer Ross? And what was your favorite sneaker you guys saw today? I'll catch you guys in the next video. Subscribe to my second channel, Sneaker Talk 365. I'll leave a link down below as well, and I'll see you guys later.